All right, so this is an amazing trick for Burp Suite, my friends. Sometimes you might be asked to add a custom header to every single request that you make. For example, I've written a stupid header here, XXFS tester with the name with a prefix tester. So that's the prefix is the part that's always going to come before the value. And then I can enter either a hard-coded value or a regular expression in here. Now, if I update this preview, you will see that this is what my header will look like. And that is the add custom header extension. You have to install it first through the extender, but this alone isn't enough. We still need to go to our project options, to our session tabs, and then we need to add a session handling rule. Now, in this rule, we can define that we invoke a burp suite extension and the extension add custom header will be invoked. We can give this a name, add custom header. And we can also set up a scope in here, as you can see. Now the scope is whatever this, will, this rule will be applicable on. So it will be applicable on the target tab, the intruder, scanner, sequencer, and repeater. Not on the extender top tab and not on the proxy tab. Now, Right now I have a custom scope set, so I can set a custom scope or I can use the squeeze scope definition if I go into proxy scope or target scope, remember, or I can use a custom scope. Now for this, if you are just testing out, of course, you can include all URLs, but if you're really doing this, you need to include a proper scope. Then you can click OK. And now every single request from the target, from the scanner, intruder, repeater, and sequencer will have that custom header in it. So that's how you add a custom header with Burp Suite.